Hi, welcome to TechCrunch TV. I'm here with Jonathan Good, who's one of the co-founders of A Thousand Memories. You guys are announcing some exciting news. You've raised millions and millions of dollars, is that right? It is right. Tell us how much and who. Uh, so we've raised a $3 million Series A round, mm -hmm. led by Greylock Partners. Mm -hmm. And so we're really excited about them and their social media expertise, and then a stellar list of angels who are also excited to be involved with us. Mm -hmm. So um, we've covered you guys in the past. You were a Y Combinator company, um, you know, basically there to create um, in, in perpetuity, very classy, well-designed memorials for people who've passed away. Um, tell us a little bit about how the site has sort of changed from those early days to, to now the point where you're getting grown-up venture capital. Sure. I mean, it started out just from our personal experiences of having lost loved ones and feeling like there was nothing on technology that helped us. Uh, and so we had a very simple place that was just about the person and simple collaboration tools. Um, and over the past seven months that we've been live, um, we've had wonderful users and lovely memories shared on our side. And learning from that, we've built out the ability to collect donations. Um, We've introduced this amazing memory quilt that ties together all the different pieces of content from someone's life. Mm -hmm. um, kind of a, a little bit like a, a quilt of old or tapestry where right. everyone has a square to contribute, whether it's a photo or a memory, mm -hmm. um, and together kind of remembering the totality of someone's life. Mm -hmm. It's not an actual quilt, though. No. Okay. <laughs> I was just looking to see if you had, like, you know, <laughs> the, the telltale like, blisters on your fingers from quilting all night. Um, but, you know, I understand going forward, I mean, one of the things that's great about your site, I should say, first of all, is it's not cluttered with a lot of ads. You're not charging for the surface, which are two of the things that make people love it so much. But, you know, here you are raising venture capital and you're a business. So, I mean, I understand down the line, it, you're looking more at like premium services, things like, you know, either producing like hardcover books of loved ones or maybe even real quilts one day. Yeah, it's actually a good <laughs> idea. Um, yeah, and I mean, the great part about the funding is that it allows us to continue focusing on making a really great experience for our customers um, and being able to continue to offer a really great service for free. I mean, we want to be the place where everyone's remembered. And so we always want to be able to provide a free service to support that. Um, and we don't want to have the kind of horrible advertising or tacky extortionate emails that, that others in the space have used. We want it to truly be someone's place and just to be about remembering. Mm -hmm. Is that one of the reasons you think so many competitors have failed in this area? I mean, frequently when we've had launches, and I don't know if it was just a matter of time, like a lot of things on the internet, but um, a lot of other entrants have been considered like really tacky or really morbid or, you know, frankly, just didn't really get critical mass. I mean, this is a hard sort of customer acquisition problem because you're not gonna have people coming to the site every day unless they're really living in a war zone or have bigger problems. Yeah, I mean, I think it's it's both about design and we're as much a design company as we are a tech company. Mm -hmm. And we really, from the full bleed photo that everyone has that's just their place, um, throughout the site, we're very focused on design uh, and we're nominated for the Crunchy for Best Design as a result of that. So I think there's that part that really sets us apart. Um, there's also a focus on collaboration. So many people have just taken an old obituary where one person wrote something short mm -hmm. and put that on the internet. Mm -hmm. Whereas our premise is there's all of these amazing pieces of content from someone's life, whether it's a photo in a shoebox somewhere, or we actually have a really cool story that someone uploaded that was a uh, AOL Instant Messenger uh, mm -hmm. rap battle mm -hmm. that they'd saved on their computer and that was this like amazing digital footprint of their life. Mm -hmm. um, and so letting everyone share together, I think, is another core difference. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the third part that you mentioned is timing. Mm -hmm. And uh, like now, Facebook has become so pervasive that, uh, I mean, I, we estimate that 3 million people will pass away on Facebook this year. Wow, that's a really sort of stunning a grisly number. statistic. Yeah, and I think people now think about their identity as online and offline. And so mm -hmm. when you look at our investors, people who have really helped use technology to change the world, and I think by investing in us, one of the things that they're saying is, hey, it's, it's really strange that when someone passes away, we place a small little piece in the newspaper and write their name on a stone on the ground somewhere. And we have all of these incredible photos and stories Mm -hmm. and we could do something, like, let's build a place to do that. And what about monetization? How aggressive are you going to start getting on that? I mean, that's not, that's not kind of front and center for us. We're really focused on um, helping people use this. It's such a, a new thing that hasn't existed before. Um, and getting people 
used to our site, helping them see what's possible online, I think is really key. And the luxury of having millions of dollars in the bank is that we can really focus on building a great customer experience. This seems like one of those companies where there's a clear reason it should exist, but building it into a big business seems like it's going to take a lot of time. Yeah, I mean, I think, I mean, I think the possibilities for the business are really huge. Mm -hmm. I mean, we're actually doing one of the one of the things that's ubiquitous. And I mean, Paul Graham said to us, "You guys are building a square in the periodic table of the internet." Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I think it's that big, and building something that big takes a long time. Um, but it's also amazing. I mean, we're we're collecting an inordinate amount of world history and and helping people through some of the most difficult moments in their lives.